Consider a sample of 52 football games, where 31 of them were won by the home team. Use a .10 significance level to test the claim that the probability that the home team wins is greater than one half. So this is a hypothesis test for a proportion. So we're given n, which is the total number of observations. Looks like that's going to be 52. And then x is successes. So winning a game is success. 31 of them were won, so x is 31. The 0.10, that's the alpha. And we have to test the claim that the probability that the home team wins is greater than 1 half. So let's go ahead and set up our null and alternate hypotheses. So in this case, it's p, because it says probability. So p greater than 0.5, right? more than 1 half. And then the null hypothesis is always equals, so 0.5. Steps two and three are done entirely in StatCrunch. So let's go ahead and do those. So you go to question help and you go to StatCrunch. Then you go to, let me make it easier to see. So then we go to stats, proportion stats, one sample with summary. Left click, then enter everything. So successes is 31, observations is 52. And then here we change this to greater than, right? Change it to greater than. So everything looks okay. There's our successes, there's our observations, there's our equals, there's our greater than. Click compute. And we have steps two and three. Our test statistic is our Z stat. So Z equals 1.38675, should be enough decimals. And the p-value is 0.0828. Okay, that's always step two and always step three. Step four is the test decision. We have to decide whether or not to reject HO or fail to reject HO. If the p-value is smaller than alpha, we reject. So in this case, it is, so we reject HO. If it's bigger, we fail to reject. Step five is the interpretation. So to start our interpretations, we always start by mentioning the level of significance. So at the 10%, right, 0.10 is 10%. The 10% level of significance. Then we have to say if there is or there is not. Well, we reject HO, so there is enough evidence to say H1 is true. So there is, there is sufficient evidence. To claim that, well, that the proportions, proportion of wins is greater than one half, or that the probability of wins is greater than one half. Uh, let's, let's get it straight from the problem that the probability that the home team wins is greater than one half. So that the, straight from the last sentence, right? That the probability, I'll just put prob, that the home team, home team wins is greater than one half, one half. So I kind of rushed through that pretty quickly. Um, so let's go ahead and enter the answers. So it looks like it's going to be this one here. So check answer. Good stuff. Uh, the test statistic is two decimals. So once, once you get the hang of these, you know, once you start, um, you know, working through these, it becomes really, really routine. It's always the same five steps. You know, always, all hypothesis tests are all the same five steps. The p-value wants three decimals. Got to be careful here. So that, that two is going to become a three. So it'll be 0 0.083. Kind of sneaky. Uh, let's see. So we rejected. So there is sufficient evidence. So it's going to be this one. Reject there is. And that's it. Let's see if it's right. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Computer's really slow. Let's see if it loads. Nice work. All right. So I hope that made sense. That's it.